So it's looking like Stephen A. Smith is currently giving LeBron James the Kyrie Irving treatment. And what do I mean by that? Remember when Stephen A. Smith used to go on ESPN First Take? He used to personally attack Kyrie Irving based off some tweets that Kyrie used to put out. Stephen A. Smith just did the same thing to LeBron James on his podcast. Let's check it out right here. When I see my name or my brothers and sisters' names getting spun through the media, I refer to all my research about who they are. Their job is to control public perception, all while profiting off of, discussing, discrediting, and disrespecting people's lives for entertainment. He went on to say, I send shots at the puppet masters, not the puppets. All the puppets do is run around society trying to gain popularity and state opinions. What a life. My name is worth billions to these media corporations. My brothers and sisters who deal with this know exactly what I mean. Okay, so when Kyrie Irving put out those tweets, Keep in mind, he didn't say Stephen A. Smith's name, but Stephen A. Smith took it upon himself to send Kyrie a 24-hour warning. Let's check out that clip right here. There's a lot that happened this year, and, you know, especially in Brooklyn with Mr. Kyrie Irving. Oh, yeah. That brother put out a tweet today. We ain't talking about it today because we had the NFL draft. Let me look into the audience and say this. Oh, you thought I had stuff to say before. Wait until first take tomorrow. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. I'm going to marinate on what this brother had the audacity yep. to put on social media today. I'm going to let it marinate for the next 24 hours. Okay, so that's what Stephen A. Smith used to do to Kyrie Irving on ESPN First Take. He recently did this to LeBron James on ESPN First Take as well. Him and Shannon Sharp went at LeBron James. They took LeBron's tweet out of context purposely just to go at him for some clicks and views. And this is what they did on ESPN First Take. Let's check it out right here. Here's the video. Shannon? Yes. Do you agree with what LeBron said about his time in Miami? Hell no, I vehemently disagree. I strenuously disagree with what he said. At the time that he had arrived in Miami, he had two M he had two regular season MVPs and one finals appearance through his first seven seasons. LeBron, do you realize the reason why you got into the GOAT conversation because of what transpired in Miami? I almost caught a heart attack. <laughs> I cannot believe I am so proud of you right now. I thought you were going to disagree. This touches my heart, Chad <laughs> Shaw. I, I didn't believe you were capable of such a thing. Hey, come on. I, I, with LeBron, I mean, we are marching locks. It's supposed to be a debate show. But damn it, ain't no debate here. No. Because you're 1,000% correct. What the hell is wrong with you, LeBron? What the hell is wrong with you? LeBron said he was just would have been the same dominant player. Less rings, but the same dominant player. And he also gave credit to the Miami Heat organization. But of course, Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp, they had to spin a different narrative. They went on a podcast talking about it as well. And that's what we're about to get in, in today's video because Stephen A. Smith went on his podcast talking about the same thing again. And he just blatantly lied on LeBron James as well, talking about that LeBron James didn't attend Kobe Bryant's memorial. But in today's video, I want to show you guys some information about that because the information that I have says otherwise. So let's get into the clip first. Let's highlight what Stephen A. Smith had to say about LeBron James not attending Kobe Bryant's memorial. Here's the video. Be sure to hit that like button for me if you haven't already. That helps this YouTube channel continue to grow. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, stay up to date with all of my current YouTube videos. Peace. Why do you think I was so upset when LeBron James wasn't at Dwayne Wade's Hall of Fame induction ceremony? I still can't believe that wasn't a big enough story. Supposed to be your brother. Now I understand. Bronny James, just a few months ago, had the heart ailment, collapsed at USC, rushed to the hospital. Thank God he's okay. And I understand LeBron James spending time with family. But from my understanding, he traveled over the summer. And I'm not LeBron James, and I don't get to take private jets that often, but occasionally I do. And I happen to know. That you had, you could have had time to fly in for the Hall of Fame induction of your brother. I promise you this, and it's a prognostication, it's a prediction, but I can't say definitively. But I'm almost willing to say, let me promise you that when LeBron James Day comes and he's inducted into the Hall of Fame, I promise you D-Wade will be there. You can bet the house. There's a lot that we don't talk about with LeBron James. Remember when the memorial service took place for Kobe Bryant? I'm quite sure he had his reasons. LeBron was devastated, loved Kobe. We get that. I can't believe I didn't see him there. Magic was there. Jordan was there. Shaq was there. Steph Curry was there. D-Wade was there. The NBA community was in attendance. We didn't see LeBron James. Two of the most conspicuous, biggest moments, albeit for completely different, and in Kobe's case, absolutely tragic reasons. 
We didn't see the face of LeBron James, the face of the league, one of the preeminent faces in the world of sports. And every time we turn around and we ask these questions, it's like throwing shade. It's not throwing shade. It's recognizing his greatness, his significance, his impact, and wondering why. I'm simply saying, I'm not asking the rhetorical questions, but why is this so wrong to bring these things up? Why is it so wrong if I'm sitting up there and I'm saying, yo, this quote that you said, it's not paying enough homage. I know that you raved and talked about the Miami Heat organization, but you were going to be what you were going to be no matter what without them. That's just not true. That's just not true. Okay, so that's the video right there, guys. A lot of blog sites was picking it up saying that Stephen A. Smith exposed LeBron James for not going to Kobe Bryant's memorial. But the information that I have says otherwise. As you can see right here, the Los Angeles Times reported that LeBron James was in attendance in the audience. And as we can see right here in the article, it says, among the Lakers-related faces in the audience, Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Nikhil O'Neal, Phil Jackson, Jerry West, Rick Fox, and LeBron James. So I would like to highlight a video of Diana Taurasi, a WNBA player. She gave a speech at Kobe Bryant's memorial, and she had made this little jab at LeBron James in her speech. But you can see when she had made her jab at LeBron James, she had looked over at somebody in the audience. So I would like to highlight that clip for you guys in today's video, and then I'll come back with some more commentary to wrap the video up. Let's check out this clip right here. She inherited. Her skill was undeniable at an early age. I mean, who has a turn away fadeaway jumper at 11? LeBron barely got it today. Okay, so that's Diana Taurasi speaking at Kobe Bryant's memorial. So like I was saying, she clearly looked at somebody when she gave her speech, when she had made her little joke about LeBron James. So we have credible sources saying that LeBron James did attend Kobe Bryant's memorial. Now we have Stephen A. Smith, somebody who constantly gets called out for his credibility and not fact-checking stuff that he has put out on ESPN First Take. Remember, Lonzo Ball recently called him out for that because Stephen A. Smith reported that Lonzo Ball couldn't sit down, according to his sources, and Lonzo Ball made a video telling Stephen A. Smith he needs to check his sources because Lonzo Ball can sit up and down without any problems. So instead of Stephen A. Smith apologizing to Lonzo Ball, all Stephen A. Smith did, he went on his podcast, he moved the goalposts, started making about Lonzo Ball injury history, started saying, don't make me get his doctor on and expose his information and don't make him get the paperwork from his doctor and all this stuff Stephen A. Smith was saying on his podcast, man. That's all this guy does. He moves the goalposts if you call him out. So yeah, man, Um, you can take his word with a grain of salt. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up, guys. That really does help these videos get pushed out to the algorithm. Let's try to aim for another thousand plus likes, man. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll catch you on the next video. And we out, guys. Peace.